Hi, this is Joseph Tan here from GoodMonday.com. Wisdom is gain backwards. You don't gain wisdom by looking forward. You gain wisdom by looking backwards. Now, what does that mean? Now, when it comes to technology, as time passes by, the level of achievement or success generally increases with time. So as time progresses on, gadgets become better and we have more conveniences and so on and so forth. But when it comes to gaining wisdom for life, you will find that in general, in terms of morality and character and wisdom, the further on we go into the future, there is generally a declining standard in terms of morality, in terms of character, and so on. Which goes to show that if we want to gain wisdom for the future, we need to be looking backwards. We need to be looking at lives of people in the past who have walked the talk at a much higher level and at a much higher standard than people today. So we have quite an interesting state of affairs here. Technologically, we are advancing, but morally, character-wise, and in terms of integrity, we are declining. So if we are to grow in our sense of ethics, integrity, morality, and wisdom, we need to be looking backwards. We need to be looking into the uh, ancient paths, into the giants of the past. So when it comes to wisdom, we need to look to the past in order to step into the future. So how do you gain wisdom by looking into the past? Let me offer three practical suggestions. The first practical way is to read real biographies. Uh, too many effort is spent reading novels. Not to say that novels are bad, but a lot of novels are fantasies and they talk about worlds that are yet to be or worlds that are imaginary. But we need to be rooted in real historical past of people who have achieved high standards of ethics, morality and character. So reading biographies, being inspired by people in the past who have walked the journey before really gives us wisdom to take the steps ahead. So be a student of great biographies. Secondly, learn to connect with people who are older than you. Now, if most of the people or friends you have are of the same age as you and you just mix with your peers, uh, what new things do you learn? You basically learn the same old, same old things uh, from your peers. They are going through the same struggles as you. Basically, you need someone who is higher, someone who has gone through more in life, someone who are a few steps ahead of you. So appreciate people who are older than you. They could be your parents, they could be your relatives, they could even be your bosses, people who are more senior than you. They have a wealth of experience and wisdom to share with you if only you take time and have the humility to listen. Many of them are willing to give you their advice for free, but are you patient and humble enough to listen? Thirdly, particularly if you are young, do not follow your heart. Um, when, when it comes to living your life, following your heart will lead you to the roller coaster of emotions. Uh, in order to gain wisdom, you must seek for what is true. You must seek for unchanging principles in life. Do not chase after fashion or trends or what people say or follow the way of your emotions because they do not give you stability for the future. Stability for the future comes from learning about uh, life's great truths, about principles of life that works, about knowing the laws of relationships, knowing um, the consequences of doing what is right because it's right to do what's right. So follow the lessons and principles of the past in order to guide you into the future. As someone once said, those who do not learn from history is uh, often put in a position to repeat it. So if you do not learn from the mystics of history concerning principles of life, you will repeat it in the future. So following your heart is bad advice. 
follow what is true and follow what is right. Now, that's wisdom. Think about it. So, if you want to be wise, do not look to the future. Look to the past first in reading biographies, connecting with uh, senior people, and in following the truth and principles about life and not just your heart. This is Joseph Tan here from goodmonday.com. Thanks for watching.